Right guys, just me again. Um, I haven't forgot about you. And I haven't stopped building by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I have been on holiday, um, but also I haven't had the trailer. I've I managed to find someone that was willing to make me um, a custom roof rack because I didn't want to fix anything to the the roof of the trailer. So I needed some brackets that could be mounted side on and there wasn't anything on the shelf. Now it's quite hard I found in the UK to find people that are willing to go a tiny bit out of their comfort range um, and build anything that they haven't built before. Um, that's just me at the moment. I'm in a new location, so I'm pretty struggling for contacts. But um, I found a company called SDV Roof Racks. Um, they won't mind me mentioning their name because I told them what I was doing. Um, and they were helpful from the start. Um, managed to draw up some plans. Um, they've even helped me find somewhere where we could laser um, my company name into the roof rack. I'll show you that shortly. Um, so yeah, the new roof rack, it houses two solar panels um, and the new Arb awning. It's a two meter awning. I believe it pulls out by two and a half meters. So um, over in America, um, Canada, Australia again, I think you guys are using them every day. Um, over here, you can't just go pick one up off the shelf, but there are a few people that um, that import them over. Um, so that's all good to go. And also, while the roof rack was being built, I took it back to the original builder who has stripped off all of the trims. I don't know if you remember from the other video where my uh, the black was coming off, the finish that was apparently etched, primed and painted. That was starting to flake off and breaking my heart a little bit if I'm truthful. Well, they've all come off, uh, mud guards, trims, um, wi windows, surrounds, that kind of thing. Um, and they were shop blasted, um, etched up and powder coated. So I think they look pretty fantastic. Um, pretty much as it did the day I picked it up, but hopefully they won't actually flake off anymore. Um, so yeah, I'll show you around and see what you think. So here it is guys, it's a, looking a bit dirty as I've been covering a few miles in it, um, mainly motorway miles. So yeah, pretty standard. Um, just the big plates on the side. Uh, what we did is, you can just see the, the rivets of the sheet metal here, the aluminium. We've, we put these, they're not perfectly um, equal distance because we stretch these either side of um, let's call it a uh, like an aluminium stud, if we, were, if we were to call this stud work. So these are actually placed in um, chosen locations where, where they wouldn't be pulling on the aluminium likewise here at the back. Now, this is what I was saying. So we managed to get this laser cut. Arc is my uh, company name. Um, and also when I think of the word arc, I think of it as a bit of a refuge from the elements. So, uh, Kind of two birds with one stone there regarding the name. So there's the roof rack. So th on this side, the the plates are a little bit longer. I hope you can see um, the plates continue enough. Um, and I had the awning delivered to the roof rack people. So they were able to put fixing points in the exact locations. I won't show you the setup of this awning. They're all over YouTube. Um, people can do demonstrations a lot better than I can. They take a few minutes to, to set up and they're pretty good. I had them put the similar kind of fixings, on, um, similar kind of plates on the back if I ever did want an awning over the back. Now, I know the door opens and acts as a bit of a canopy, but what what, What I did notice, or have noticed, it, is we end up with this gap here. It shouldn't be the end of the world, um, but also with the with the awnings, as you guys know, you get the additions of 
of side walls. Um, there is actually um, on the market a windbreak version where it has a side here and a back. So if, if this side was enclosed with a windbreak and this side and an awning was here, that would be fantastic as an, as an all-round setup, I believe, if I, ever, if I ever choose to go down that road. I'll just jump up on and show you. So a bit like I said. So made to measure. Um, again, I had the solar panels delivered, so they had them on site to build around. I went with some mesh towards the back, um, just to help strap things down if ever I did want to carry anything extra. I won't be loading it up too much. Uh, the reason I went for a roof rack instead of just fitting these, um, they do brackets where you mastic them to the to the roof is I just I didn't want any anything stuck to the roof or fixed to the roof if I could help it. Um, and also I, I did need something to house um, and carry the awning so it does give me the extra option of storage on the top and with that the second that I turned on the uh, second that I plugged in those solar panels it brought this little baby to life and I bet your bottom dollar that you won't be able to see this but at the moment, I am in the shade, but it's topped my battery off in no time at all. The battery is now on 13.9 volts. So everything seems to be working. I haven't gone through the total setup, um, but it is showing signs of life. So I don't think I've got anything too badly incorrect. So like I say, these have all been taken back, powder coated. I had them do these supports at the same time as well, just to black them out. But they look fantastic. They actually look more robust than they did. They look, well, I know they're more robust because I was there when we fitted the roof rack and this piece of checker plate here took quite a ding um, and you wouldn't know. So I'm really, really happy with that. Uh, the guy was full of apologies that, that the first attempt failed. He was very, very considerate when it came to that. Um, so yeah, all in all, we are moving forward. But if you do stick around for the next video, I've got a bit of a confession. I have a massive, massive problem that I'm hopefully going to be addressing over the next couple of days. But it is a shocker and something that I'm going to let you guys be aware of, as embarrassingly as it seems, um, just maybe so that none of you guys out there make the same mistake as I have. Um, so stay tuned for that. A bit of fun for you, but not so much for me.